I don't know if you've heard, but uh, Cam Smith's opponent has actually pulled out of the Ali Trophy. Are you a bit gutted that you've not been uh, transferred into this one? Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, not gutted or not like that. As I said before, I, I would have been nice to have been a, a reserve maybe for it with some notice, do you know what I mean, and being reserved for the, for the tournaments, for, everyone, for, for the old with Midway fights, you know, maybe, um, as I said, reserve, but, you know, not on Callum, you know, it's not Callum's fault, it's not his problem, but he was pulled out for I don't know what reason, I haven't, I haven't checked nothing yet, so um, nothing Callum can do, he's got a fight to he put up front to him and, and that's, that's the way it goes, but um, maybe something down the line, you know, he, he wins it and, you know, I keep doing what I'm doing and, you know, I'm just after getting back back up there and getting back to the, you know, wanting to get to the top and, you know, if a fight, whoever they put in front to get there, then I'll do it. But um, you know, good luck to Callum, and you know, um, uh, good luck. In the, you know, I think he'll get the final with Groves, and it'll be a good fight. So good luck to them all. Who do you think wins that? Yeah, well, I know I've picked Groves, um, like from the start kind of thing. But now I'm changing now with the the fight he just had with Eubank, the injury he just had, twelve rounds. You know what I mean? And, and the injury, whereas Callum's fighting. A 13 old guy now, I think it is. So, you know, Callum gets him out of there in two rounds, three rounds, then he's going to come in the next fight fresh, isn't he? And um, I, I'm, I'm swaying each way now. It could be, could be a Callum. Could, a bit close to the time after Saturday, if, when I watch Callum, I'll probably um, have a decision. But um, I'm a scouter, and I know Callum's beat me, and I'd, I'd like to, you know, get back at that fight, and, you know, I, you know, we're going to be better of our age, he's from Liverpool and it'll be good to see him win it, you know, put Liverpool back on the map and on the map and in, in the future for, for fights for all the up and coming lads and stuff, so, um, yeah, it be a good fight in Groves, um, I don't know if the Saturday I'll decide, but I picked Groves from the start, so we'll see what happens. Tournaments are quite rare in boxing. Are you itching yourself to get involved in one? Do you want to see it become more of the norm in the sport? Oh yeah, definitely. The way, the way this is, I've been to the, I've been to the Callum and Scoggin fight and the set up. I was there on Saturday. You bang goals. I was sitting up in the in the uh, gods and yeah. I was just the atmosphere was great. The set up, the ring announced, uh, the ring walks were all were all great and. Um, yeah, it's great, and you know, if you have a light heavy beat one, I'll, I'll, I'll probably try and put my name down for that and go up to light heavy and, and, and take take that. But it's it's great for the boxing. Everyone's is like being sucked into it. Everyone's and the cruiserweights are being great. Every fight being great. So it's a, it looks like it's a bit of an, an off month for boxing, and like you know, for the future, these these more of them at different weights, and as I said, maybe a light heavy one for me. But it, what it's what make of the fight on Saturday because it was quite controversial in terms of the backlash that Eubank Jr. has received in terms of his in-ring skills. Do you think it was that poor of a performance from him? Uh, I think that's just, that, that was just him, the way you know, that's him fighting. Groves is a better boxer and I've been around the amateur scenes um, for England myself and I've been on the same camps as Groves and I know he's a, he's a good boxer. It goes from his amateur days and goes to his pros and you know, he's a, proper bo- he's a good boxer. He was made, Eubank was made for him, you know, he's making Eubank miss. Eubank didn't have a clue, his footwork weren't good. He, you know, you can look good on the bags and like his, as you say on his videos, the bags and his pads and you can look, you have a million dollars on there, but actually getting in there with someone who's a lot bigger, a lot stronger, who punches harder, is a, a weight, you know, a lot of weight, is heavier and a good boxer, he will always beat him. And I, I, I had from the start that Groves would, would be comfortable and um, you know, we keep sorry, caught him and, and had him wobble, but you no, know, take me hat off to Eubank. You know, he took some solid shots and he, he dusted off and came back, so fair play to him on that. But you know, Groves, Groves the better man, better boxer, so I, I, I picked him from the start to, win, to pick it up to Eubank. Is that a fight you'd want down the line, Eubank Jr.? Would you like to go and teach him once? <laughs> no, it's well, at the minute, you know, he's got no title now, he hasn't got. And in there, he, he has to build himself back up. Like I have too, when I, when I lost, I had to build myself back up and get me wins, and that's what he's going to do. But down the line, if I get a belt and I get some kind of big title and he does, then, then I'll, I'll take that fight, not a problem. I, I'm just where I'm at now in my career is I want to 
I want to fight these these guys with all the belt, like, these world champions. I want to prove I, I can mix at this level, at that level. So my focus now, where I'm at, is 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 tagging whoever's got a world title and whoever's you know got something there worth me fighting for, and that's my target. So as it stands with Eubank, I wouldn't be interested. I'd like the winner of the Gale and Strokes if they. Sucks is it if you get a rematch like that? Tyrone Zugu, German kid, WBA. I'm ranked high with all the governing bodies, so they're, they're my targets. You know what I mean? If I can get myself in a position to fight for, a, for, for one of them for a world title, I'd jump at it. Um, you know, anyone who people who haven't got like belts who are ranked below, I'm, I'm not really focusing on them. You know, I've had 25 fights, I've been pro for seven, eight years, I've won the English, Commonwealth, British titles, and I deserve, uh, I think, you know, to push on in my career and, and see what level I'm at and take the right fight at the right time and hopefully I can get it in, in 2018. What did you make of Naz's comments post-fight? Do you think the, a pundit should have a certain degree of etiquette when it comes to a sport like boxing? Uh, well, Naz, you know, he, he's been there, hasn't he? And he he's real, isn't he? He's been there, he's been a boxer, he's, he's not... You, you know, you're getting asked questions and you've got to tell, you know, you get, want to be telling the truth and he said some good, well, some funny things, he said some things about, about you should retire, which I don't agree really on that, you know what I mean, it's, it's you know, a loss, he can come back, he can change his training stuff around and he can, you bag can like go down to middleweight and decide what else to do, but as for Naz's comment, he was just, you know, he was, he was everyone on Twitter looked, I like they enjoyed it. I was travelling home, so I could I could only see bits. But yeah, um, he was a bit harsh in some ways, but being real and others. So you know, you sometimes you need someone to tell you the, the real stuff, don't you, to for you to realise stuff. So um, maybe they, they might have him back. Maybe they might they mightn't. So you see, who knows? But he was he was a good he was he was a good crack as as when you're watching it like so. Yeah, um, we'll just see what happens on the on the future fights if he's uh, being invited again. How active are you looking to be this year in terms of England competition? Nah, I want to be very. Do you have a set number of fights you visualise in your head? I I just want to fight. I'm in the gym all the time. That's just all I'm always fighting and, and wanting to fight. And I've had the last few couple of years have been a bit a bit on and off start. You know, two fights in one year and stuff and things and. Yeah, I was supposed to fight in the Bell and Hay yeah. card against Scotland in December, that fell through and we got rescheduled for February, so I've trained over Christmas, I went away, I was training, I got back and then unfortunately, you know, uh, that happened to Scotland, um, so I was left in a bit of limbo then to see where, where we would go, um, and then we said May the 5th could be another, another date, but that means my last fight was September and I went one round. So from September last year to me is not is not good. Um, I need to be active. I need to be. I'm in the gym. I want to learn. I want to progress on in my career. I don't want to stay at one level. I want to move on and get the right fight at the right time. And I'd like to get this eight rounder, get a big one in May. Um, you know, see how that goes, and then you know, another two more before the end of the year if everything goes to plan. And that's all I want. I, I just I I'm in the gym. I train. This is all I know at the minute. Is fighting and I want, I'm working hard to get to the top. I'm seeing all these world champions now that have all, all been fighting the first half of the year. This tournament's taken off great and these lads, these people, these opponents that have had world title shots that are ranked below me and things and stuff and then it eats away but I'm hoping if I just keep sticking in the gym like I am doing, I think the opportunities are coming. I've just got to be ready now this, this, this year in case any of these pull out and other fighters pull out or injuries and then I can be next in line. And, but my main thing is get myself in a position for a world title and hopefully that can, that can, come up, that can plan out, pan out. I hope this is the start of a very active year for you and best of luck to next oh, yeah, week. Thanks Cheers. Very much.